hello hello good morning i was just doing stories but stories are so so small so little like a few seconds i mean i can do a whole bunch of them but i rather sing it straight in one content um yeah sort sort uh explanation of the story and here uh netherlands beautiful place it's such a beautiful place for real i was running it was a park Usually people that have dogs go there a lot, a lot of people that have dogs go there, so I see a lot of dogs. Um, and the thing is this, I want to work with dogs and for some reason I've been inactive for so long that I literally have created, I feel it, I've created insecurities and fears around it. Like, can you believe it? I want to work with dogs so much and I have created all these insecurities and fears right now. Um, so literally what happened right there and it was progress to me was that um, there was a dog that it was such a sweet dog such a sweet dog it looked at me I looked at it it wagged its tail I smiled <laughs> and uh, there was this point that I started petting the dog with the dog was like oh and it, it sat right next to me it was like yeah yeah give it love I want love <laughs> and I gave it love <laughs> and uh, I started talking to the lady that has the dog and I told her oh you know uh, I'm looking for uh, to, to work with dogs here, but it's so difficult to find. I don't know why. I, I, I sent application to shelters and I'm still waiting and stuff. And it was even, you know, n nothing really changed after, other than the fact that, you know, momentum started happening. Because when you're inactive for so long, that's what I realized. You just become more stiff. You, you're not so fluent into your movements and and your your courage to approach i mean i am brave in so many other aspects and this thing i'm just freezing and it's crazy um but it was a great progress for me right there that i went to talk to that lady and that was the first move and then i will go do like structured over the moves go to veterinarian places and ask for um maybe to help here maybe I don't know, volunteer to some places. So yeah, this is my story. My story of uh, in some way being literally shy to go talk to dog people and do things about the vision, which is like the greatest mission right now. And I'm afraid to talk to dog people. Like, oh, and I want to do good there, you know? It's not that I want to do something bad. It's something beautiful that I want to do. I want to give you value. So it's very interesting and I, I'm, I'm so happy that I record this because I'm sure that this is going to change and I'm going to sit and be like, oh my god, it was this point that I was afraid to talk to people and I was hesitating and I was, you know, blocked and now it's so easy for me. So I'm so happy that you see that and you're going to see the progress because I just know, I just know that now it's weird, but it will not be weird for long and you will see the progress here. Hope it happens soon because I cannot stay without dogs. Life is not beautiful without dogs. No, it is, but we 